Okay, here we would like to find the last digit of a number, which is 20 22nd element in the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, as we recall, Fibonacci sequence starts with 1 and 1, followed by a number that is a summation of the previous um, terms, the previous two terms, right? So, and here we want to find the last digit of that, uh, you know, 20 22nd uh, element. All right, why don't you think about it? How would you approach this problem? And when you're ready, let's continue. Now, the last a digit of a number, it is actually the number mod 10, right? So that's give you the last digit. So this is a very common way. Now in this case, of course, not, not be straightforward to, to figure out what is a, uh, the, the huge number, you know, mod 10. So we would like to uh, maybe find what is a mod 2 and mod 5, maybe get a clue from there, right? So let's do that. Now, one fundamental property of the modulus is that uh, when you add two numbers, the sum of modulus is the individual number's modulus sum, right? The sum of modulus. So in other words, what I'm saying is that, uh, um, you know, if A, if A plus C, right, A, plus b equals c, then, you know, a plus b, um, when you do a mod n, they are the same, right? So here we get a recurrence with mod 2, right? So the first one is 1, the second one is 1, the previous line is going to be the uh, sum of the previous 2. Of course, when we mod 2, you only have 0 or 1, right, as a result. So let's write it out, right, to see if there's any pattern here. So the first one is 1, second one is 1, the third one is 1 plus 1, 2, mod 2 is going to be 0, the third one is going to be 1, you know, 0 plus 1 is 1, right, and then the next one is going to be um, 1 again, and since 1 have 1, and then you're going to have 2, which mod 2 is going to be 0, so you see that uh, every three elements you're going to repeat, right. So this is the first element, and, third, and, and then, now how about uh, the 2022 element? You know, notice that 2022 is a multiple of 3, right? Because when a number, the sum of digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. In the multiple 3, it looks like uh, the modulus here, you know, uh, as we noticed, uh, is... Uh, going to be zero. So here we know that uh, uh, mod 2 is zero, which means that's an even number, right? So that's good. So we know that at least it's an even number. Now how about mod 5? I'm going to use a similar logic here, right? It's similar recursion. But for the 5, when you, when you, when you write it out as a modulus, you're going to start with a 1, 1. The, the second number is 2, 2 mod 5 is 2, the third, and then the next one is going to be 3, right? And next one is 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 mod 5 is 0, right? And then here you're going to have 3 again, you know, because 3 plus 0 is going to be 3, and then you're going to 0, 3 again, you, you're going to have... Uh, um, three, and then you have one, right? And three plus one, you have four, yeah? And then one, four, you're gonna have zero, right? And then uh, four, zero, you're gonna have uh, four, and zero, four, you're gonna have uh, uh, have a four, and then four, four, you're gonna have eight, eight, mod five, you're gonna have three, and then you're gonna have two, and then you're gonna have zero again, you notice that it looks like the cycle is very long, right? So 2 plus 0, uh, we can only use next 9, that's 2, right? 2 plus 0 is 2 again, yeah? And then the 4, and then 6 mod 5 is 1, and then 0 again, right? So now 0 and 1, you're going to have 1 again, and then you're going to have 1 again, and you're going to have 2, and then now you can repeat, okay? So looks like uh, I have the pattern here 
one one two three zero and so on and so forth until I have one one two three zero here, right? So the cycle here let's count how many numbers we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we have fifteen on the first row and then one, two, three, four, five. So we have five here. The cycle is twenty. All right? So that's good. So we try to find out the twenty twenty two, right? The cycle is twenty. So which means this is a multiple of twenty, the remainder is two. So this let's think about it, right? So this is a, this is the index one, this is the index twenty, and then and then and so on and so forth. So here twenty twenty two this happens to be a multiple of twenty and then followed by a two, right? So if you this is a twenty, yeah, and this is twenty one, right? And this would be twenty two, right? So here we know that uh, it's going to be the remainder is one, so that's going to be six, right? Because in the reason is six is because earlier we said that uh, so in, let's 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 don't jump steps, okay? It's mod one, this is mod five, okay? So for a number. Remember one divided by five, so the digit would be either one or six. But then earlier we said that uh, is a is an even number, so the final answer is six. So the last digit of the Fibonacci number twenty twenty two is six. Right, that's the answer. All right. So and that's it. Hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe to the channel or leave comments if you have some other ideas regarding this particular problem. Thank you.